Hey, what's up, everybody? One Peg here. Uh, this video is about the Hall of Fame, uh, basically how it works and uh, the best ways to go about decking out your Hall of Fame so that it works the best way possible for you. Uh, I'll give you a couple of the ideas with uh, with rules and kind of how it works, then the mechanics and what the point of the whole thing is. So if we look at the Hall of Fame here, um, and actually I'm going to switch to this scene because it, it's a lot easier to be able to see the, the layout and makeup of it. Um, the way that this works primarily is for dog tags and skill leveling. Now, right now I'm at level one. It's upgrading to level two. At level two, I get another combat skills bonus. So the physical skills, meaning if you look at your character sheet um, and, and the skills that you have, you have PH for physical and then you have C for combat. Those skills are the things that are leveled up through the Hall of Fame. Um, if we go and take a look at it, you notice it also has some amount of treasure storage. So small treasures, meaning like GP coin, Bitcoin, uh, the fire steel stuff, uh, anything that's considered like a small treasure, like a roller, um, these gold chains, stuff like that will go in the small trophy section. And then the large trophy section is for things like teapots, lions, clocks, uh, anything that is larger, horses, you know, whatever you want to put in there. So one of the bigger benefits to this is making sure that there's storage capacity for items that otherwise would take up a large amount of space inside of something like a junk box. It's a good way to place those items for later if you need them for things like quests. So I would I would say if you have stuff on your task list that you're trying to save up items for, a good way to save some storage space is to put them in the Hall of Fame instead. But the primary thing, the primary way to use this is via dog tags. However, there are a couple of pieces with this. The first is it only works as a bonus to you if it's opposing faction dog tags. So if you are a bear player, this is actually an easier thing to get strong for you because there are more USEC players in the game. Traditionally, there are much, much more USEC players in the game than there are bear players. For USEC, it's a little bit tougher, um, but they obviously are out there. If you notice, I have uh, my higher level bear dog tags are kind of located here on the bottom. If you auto sort, it puts USEX at the top and then bears are in a, or sorry, bears at the top and then USEX are in a chunk underneath that, uh, which is a nice quality of life addition to for BSG. Thanks a lot, boys. All right. So if I put this level 19 bear dog tag in here, though, you notice I don't get any physical benefit. Um, they have to be higher level. And by higher level, I mean at least level 24 in terms of what I've been able to find. If I put a level 20 dog tag in here, again, no physical bonus at all. But if I start to put a level 24 dog tag here, you'll see that it changes. So right now I have a 0.204. It looks like it's about a tenth of a percent for every, uh, to, I guess, 10 levels starting somewhere around level 24 or so. I don't have a level 23 to double check this, but it's somewhere around level 24. If I add this other level 30 dog tag that I have hanging out in my, uh, in my dog tag case, uh, you'll see that this goes up by another few tenths of a point to point. 51 somewhere in there we're getting this compounding benefit now I'm, I'm upgrading to level two and then level three which adds additional storage slots for these types of items so you can see how over time let's say if i had six or nine or ten whatever level 30 tags you could start to see how it, it adds up additional percentage points for leveling xp gain so this is a good way to be able to get some additional experience growth out of those soft skills especially for people that are looking to do some min maxing if it kind of keeps along with this line, I would assume somewhere around, like, say, if you could find a level 45, level 50 dog tag for the opposing faction, maybe start lining these up, you could get some decent percentage increase bonuses for this Hall of Fame. It wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, uh, but it's obviously going to take time because we are pretty early on in the wipe. We're only at, like, day six or so, so this is going to end up taking a, a little bit of time to end up growing um, larger so that you can get these benefits. There was a, a, the question of, and people have been asking whether or not you needed to have the power on. Uh, it doesn't look like you do. Um, you can have the power off and you still get the passive leveling uh, bonuses. At least that's what it says on the readout. Obviously, the percentage increases that I'm able to achieve right now and the majority of the player base would be able to achieve is pretty small. So there's really no way to be able to test if this is actually happening or not. But in the tool tips, it looks like it is at least. 
Anyway, guys, uh, that's what I have for this one. Sorry, my face kind of obscured that a little bit, uh, but you kind of get the idea. If you wouldn't mind subbing the channel, that would be really cool. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much for coming and checking this out. As always, I stream every day on twitch.tv slash one peg. Uh, I do have drops enabled the evening of January 6th from 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time until January 7th at 6 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys would come by and check out the drop stream, that would also be pretty sweet. Otherwise, uh, I guess I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for coming and checking it out. Talk to you soon. Peace.